Hey guys, I'm going to be drawing more of your OCs, and if you haven't heard, my mom is finally getting back into art. She did art way back as a kid, and I'm super excited about this because she's finally gotten back into it and is practicing and stuff like that. So it'd be great if you guys could go show her some support. I'll put a link to her YouTube channel down in the description and also in the comments. We recently, just today, I think she released a video of us together. I, was, I joined her for the video, and it was a lot of fun, and it's just been a blast with that. So I really appreciate anyone who wants to go support her because she's new to art and stuff like that and it's just really exciting for me so <laughs> yeah it's a big deal anyway um the first OC here is um Miski Fox on DeviantArt and their OC's name is Lumiere it's spelled L-U-M-I-E-R so I'm not sure if that's pronounced Lumiere or Lum Lumiere I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> I'm kind of just guessing but this character had three designs when I saw found it on DeviantArt and Okay, I was confused about which one to do. There was one like you see here where she has the big dress and she has the long hair with the two different shades. And she she always has two different shades of hair unless when she's a younger, I think. And then there's the second design which she looks like she's wearing like wizard robes or witch robes. And she has her hair up in a ponytail and she's smiling. And then there's another one as a kid which is completely different. So... <laughs> I wasn't sure if they're all the same character. I think they are because it just says OC Lumiere or whatever. So I think it's all the same character, but I really wanted to draw this character mostly because I love this two shades of hair color. Like one's just completely white, one's completely dark, and then her dress like matches. And what I really, really liked was that they added a little rose or flower that completely contrasted to the really pale colors of her entire character. But they added just like a little bit of color on the rose. And I just loved that. I thought it was like super pretty. I rarely see like where they add this one piece of color that is just something they're holding that really, it, it shows off how much, well, no color there is on the character. And I just think it looks adorable. I don't know why. I just, it really stood out to me and I had a ton of fun trying to color her. Pretty much because it was always, it was black, just black and white. So with coloring black and white, I had to figure out special ways of shading rather than just using black to shade. And that's the most fun to me. I just love shading black and whites, especially whites, because I can use like blues and reds and so many different colors to try shading with. And it's just really fun. Next up is Shadow Draws 24 um, OC. I, let me see, their name is Malachi and they're on Instagram. And this is the raffle winner. If you wanna join the raffle, which is a completely randomized selection of who wins and gets a drawing, it's on my Flying Things app. The link is down in the description. And there's actually going to be an update for that soon. I'm super excited about that because we're changing the entire like layout and how it all looks. So I hope you guys will like it when it does get updated. <laughs> and let me see, they have a bio, so I should probably read this real quick. Malachi is an imprisoned 15 year old who was locked up due to his advanced magic ability. He's a magic user from a small village called Ravenspring. Magic there is considered threat to the townsfolk. Lock, lock up all the remaining magic users that visit. He used to be best friends with a prince in Ravenspring, which would make it easier to hide his magic from the world due to his high authority taking sides with him. But after the prince became king due to his father's passing away after, after falling ill, sorry, I can't read. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> his best friend became cold and distant and locked up Malachi in the castle's dungeon. However, Malachi is extremely loyal to his and still ties tries to rekindle their friendship even if he gets himself into trouble i actually really like this character's bio i didn't actually read it much i read like the beginning of it but i didn't read the entire thing until just a few minutes ago and i actually really like the bio and how the story is it's really unique like it, it's simple but i don't know it's like wholesome and it's sweet like the whole thing about being friends and trying to figure that out and also the thing about how the townsfolk are scared of the people that use magic and it's just very interesting i would be very interested to know more about that sort of thing i, th I think it sounds like the type of plot that would do really well in like a anime or something like that where it's just it's interesting and i i'm actually intrigued by it it only mentions two characters which i think is also smart because it like you can focus on those characters and before introducing more and something about that something about a simple story that is so easy to understand and gets you intrigued is something that's so hard to do so when i read this i was like it's actually really intriguing for something so simple with only mentioning two main characters and i don't know i just i'm just really impressed by that i, I don't know why it's just 
I really like it. I also like their names Malachi. I think that's really cool. I rarely hear the name Malachi used for OCs. Next up is the commission, Katie Iko Taylor. I, don't, I hope I pronounced that properly. On Instagram, <laughs> they commissioned me for their character. Um, let me see. They have a bio. Their character's name is Hisashi. I hope I am pronouncing this right. And they have a bio, so let me read this. Um, he has a twin sister named Inori that's very outgoing, but Hisashi is the exact opposite. Was very shy in his elementary years until he met his friend Hazuki. That has been with him through everything. When he was in high school, he became very lost and confused. Hisashi had a period of self-harm in his teenage years. Um, Hazuki would always try to be there for him. When college came, they decided to move in into the same apartment together, so Hisashi wouldn't feel distant from him. Even ever since they have been... <laughs> Always been there for each other. Sorry, I'm failing to read. I don't know why I'm so bad at reading. I'm just awful at it. But anyway, this character is super cute. And also, it's one of those wholesome stories that's just like sweet about friends. And I just love those stories because, I don't know, I love uplifting things. To me, I feel like the world is full of so much things that make you feel down and depressed and sad. So when you hear things that are wholesome and just like happy endings, it makes you feel happy again and I think that is so important because so many people are always sad and it's important to have like a uplifted sort of positive sort of vibe and I think that's something that is important to try and strive for if that makes any sense I don't know I'm not trying to be a psychiatrist I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah I really really love this story and I think it's cute the most fun thing I had about drawing this character they decided on the colors for the outfit and stuff like that. They did let me have free reign with the posing. They wanted it to be full body and I wasn't entirely sure about the posing. I did go with a more of like a serious, like shy sort of dude pose like you would see in like an anime that would be like one of those characters like Sasuke <laughs> because I thought he looked like that sort of character simply because from the original photo, he looked really serious and I just, that's what I went with. I hope. I mean, they did say they liked it, so I'm really glad about that. I was scared that they won it because I kind of sometimes go a little crazy when people give me free reign with poses. And so it's always nice when someone enjoys it. I had a ton of fun, especially with ripped jeans. I rarely draw ripped jeans. And when I do, I always really enjoy it. And I try not to go overboard, but as you can tell, I always go overboard with everything I draw. <laughs> Next up is Desaturated Purple. That is a very interesting username on Amino. And as you guys know, we have an Amino. And right now, a contest is going that you can win a free drawing. And if you join right now, the contest is going to be ending tomorrow, I believe. Or the day after. I'm not entirely sure. And if you join, you have a chance to join real quick, though there's not much time left. So if you want to join for a chance to win, you better hurry up. The Amino link is down in the description. Let me see. They have a little bio here for this OC. Um, my OC persona, Violet. They're generally happy fabricot. What is that? <laughs> is that some sort of like animal or like a fictional animal who gets overwhelmed and stressed easily? Relatable. <laughs> they hate being called names, especially being called weak. She tries so hard to be brave and strong. Oh, that's so cute. I love this character. The reason I really want to do this one, the character's design reminded me of a geisha, you know, like those special like traditional outfits and the hair is what reminded me of that and I just thought it just looks so cute and it was just a so unique design I think her hair is actually her ears kind of like Splatoon characters where their ears are tied up and I think that's what's going on here is that those are her ears tied up is looking like hair and I just thought it was so cute I ended up changing the color of it like the color here looks more brown I changed it to look more purple which is what it's supposed to look like and we're all done if you want to enter your OC all I have to do is comment below with a link to your OC or you can join the amino and stuff like that or you can post it on Instagram and DeviantArt using hashtag flying pings all the information is down in the description if you want to skip the whole random selection process and get an OC for like actually get it and guaranteed you can commission me and all the commission information is also down in the description everything's in the description so hopefully it's not super confusing i tried to lay it out easy to understand if it's even easy to understand thank you guys so much for watching